What if the woman who captivated audiences with her beauty and charm had secrets so mind-melting they could change how we view Hollywood's golden era? Virginia Bell, a 1950s pinup icon and actress, was more than just a pretty face on the silver screen. As she lay on her deathbed, she whispered confessions that could send shockwaves through the industry. But why would Virginia Bell, a woman who had seemingly lived her life like an open book, hold on to secrets until her final moments? Were these confessions a last attempt to set the record straight? Or were they the unveiling of a life far more complex than anyone had imagined? From controversial relationships with Hollywood's elite to little-known facts that redefine her public persona, Virginia Bell's deathbed confessions are a treasure trove of revelations. And we're not just talking about casual gossip, we're delving into confessions that touch on the darker corners of an industry known for its glitz and glamour. So, are you ready to unravel the enigma that is Virginia Bell? The enigma of a cabaret dancer. Dancing under the glimmering lights of the burlesque stage, Virginia Bell was a captivating spectacle in the mid-20th century, her name synonymous with the vintage allure of cabaret and pinup culture. Born on August 14, 1934, in Montrose, California, as Virginia Miriam Beck, she embarked on a career that would see her grace both the burlesque stage and the silver screen. As she twirled into the hearts of the audience, Virginia became renowned for her voluptuous figure, earning the nickname Ding Dong due to her impressive 48-inch bust. But Virginia's journey into the limelight began at the age of 22 in the realm of burlesque, a genre that celebrated the art of tease. As the 1950s rolled in, her grace and charm transitioned onto the pages of men's magazines, establishing her as a pinup icon alongside her burlesque persona. Virginia was not just another pretty face in Hollywood's golden era. She was a pinup model, an actress, and a woman who defied societal norms to carve out a space for herself in an industry that was often unforgiving to women. Born in Montrose, California in 1934, Virginia's life was anything but ordinary from the start. She began her career as a burlesque dancer and quickly rose to prominence, capturing the hearts and imaginations of many. As the curtains of the 70s drew near, Virginia bid adieu to the glamour and glitz, retiring from adult entertainment. The world that once reveled in her charm witnessed her retreat into a life far removed from the flashing bulbs and adoring cheers. Yet, the whispers of her past lingered, a captivating narrative of a bygone era, awaiting to unveil the veiled ventures and whispered affairs of the Golden Age's cabaret queen. But who was Virginia Bell, really? The public saw her as a voluptuous beauty, a symbol of feminine allure. Yet behind the camera flashes and magazine covers lay a woman of depth, intelligence, and complexity. She was more than her physical appearance. She was a woman who navigated the intricate web of Hollywood politics, social norms, and personal relationships with a level of grace that many could only aspire to. Setting the stage, Hollywood's golden era. The golden era of Hollywood, spanning from the late 1920s to the early 1960s, was a time of unprecedented glamour, innovation, and influence in the American film industry. It was an era that gave us cinematic legends like Marilyn Monroe, James Dean, and Humphrey Bogart. But it was also an era fraught with its own set of complexities, rigid studio systems, the Hayes Code, and an often exploitative environment for actors and actresses. Virginia Bell's career took off in the 1950s, a decade marked by the decline of the studio system and the rise of television. This was a time when the industry was undergoing significant changes, both culturally and structurally. The Hayes Code, a set of moral guidelines that had restricted the content of Hollywood films since the 1930s, was beginning to lose its grip, allowing for more daring and controversial topics to be explored on screen. It's within this context that Virginia Bell operated. Understanding the era is crucial because it shaped not only her career, but also the very confessions that we're about to explore. The industry was a different beast back then, with its own set of rules and expectations for women. Actresses were often typecast into specific roles, and their personal lives were tightly controlled by studio executives. The casting couch was an open secret, and exploitation was rife. 
But Virginia Bell was not just a product of her time, she was also a woman who pushed boundaries. She ventured into burlesque dancing, a profession that was often looked down upon but allowed her a level of autonomy that was rare for women in the entertainment industry. Her choices, both professional and personal, were bold statements in an era that often sought to confine women to specific roles and expectations. The woman behind the glamour. Virginia Bell was more than just a pin-up model and actress. She was a complex individual who defied societal norms in multiple ways. Born in 1934, she entered the world of burlesque dancing at a young age, a bold move that set the stage for her unconventional career. Burlesque, often stigmatized as a lesser form of entertainment, was a realm where Virginia could express herself freely, far from the prying eyes of Hollywood's studio system. But what drove her to make such a daring choice? Virginia was a woman of ambition and intelligence, qualities that were often overshadowed by her physical beauty. She was well-read, interested in the arts, and had a keen sense of business. Her decision to enter burlesque was not just a rebellious act. It was a calculated move that allowed her to take control of her career in a way that few women could at the time. Virginia's foray into acting was another testament to her versatility. While she never became a Hollywood A-lister, her roles in films and stage productions showcased her talent and added another layer to her public persona. Yet despite her successes, Virginia remained a private individual, rarely discussing her personal life in interviews or public appearances. This reticence adds an extra layer of intrigue to her deathbed confessions. What could a woman who had lived so openly yet so privately have to confess? As we prepare to delve into these revelations, it's crucial to remember that Virginia Bell was not just a symbol of feminine allure. She was a multifaceted individual whose life choices were shaped by a complex interplay of personal desires, societal expectations, and the opportunities and constraints of her time. Unveiling the Confessions As Virginia Bell lay on her deathbed, the atmosphere was thick with anticipation. Those close to her knew that she had been holding on to secrets, pieces of information that had never seen the light of day. And now, as she prepared to make her final exit, Virginia chose to unveil these confessions, shedding new light on her life and the industry she was a part of. But what were these confessions? Were they admissions of love affairs, professional rivalries, or perhaps something more sinister? The answer is a complex mix of all these elements and more. Virginia spoke of relationships that had shaped her, both personally and professionally. She talked about the darker aspects of the industry, touching upon topics that many would prefer to sweep under the rug. One of the most shocking revelations was her account of a high-profile relationship with a Hollywood executive, a liaison that had been kept under wraps for decades. This wasn't just a casual fling, it was a relationship that had significant implications for her career and personal life. Virginia also spoke about the systemic issues within the industry, including exploitation and the casting couch, confirming rumors that had long circulated but had never been substantiated. These confessions were not just random utterances. They were carefully chosen pieces of information that Virginia believed needed to be shared. Each confession opens up new avenues for understanding not just her life, but also the era and industry she was a part of. They offer a glimpse into the complexities of being a woman in Hollywood's golden era, revealing the challenges and compromises that came with it. Love and Scandal – Virginia's Relationships Virginia Bell's relationships were a topic of much speculation during her lifetime, but it wasn't until her deathbed confessions that the true extent of her romantic liaisons came to light. One of the most startling revelations was her involvement with a high-ranking Hollywood executive. This relationship was not just a casual affair. It had far-reaching implications for both her career and personal life. The executive, whose identity Virginia chose to reveal only in her final moments, was a significant player in the industry. Their relationship was kept a closely guarded secret, hidden from the prying eyes of the media and even close friends. Virginia spoke of the emotional and professional complexities that came with this relationship, revealing how it both propelled and hindered her career in various ways. But why keep it a secret for so long? 
The answer lies in the power dynamics of Hollywood at the time. Relationships between actresses and executives were often fraught with imbalance, and going public could have jeopardized both their careers. Virginia's decision to keep this relationship a secret was a calculated move, one that she believed was necessary given the societal norms and professional risks of the time. Virginia Bell's career spanned a period in Hollywood when the industry was undergoing significant changes. The 1950s saw the decline of the studio system and the rise of independent filmmaking. While this opened up new opportunities for actors and actresses, it also exposed them to the darker aspects of the industry. Virginia Bell, like many women of her time, had to navigate a landscape that was often fraught with exploitation. The casting couch was an open secret in Hollywood, a practice where roles were sometimes offered in exchange for sexual favors. While there is no verified account of Virginia Bell being directly involved in such practices, it was a reality that many actresses of her era had to confront. Moreover, the industry was rife with gender inequality. Pay disparities between male and female actors were significant, and roles for women were often limited to specific stereotypes. Actresses were frequently typecast based on their appearance rather than their talent, a practice that limited their career growth and earning potential. Virginia Bell's decision to venture into burlesque dancing can also be seen as a form of resistance against these industry norms. Burlesque offered her a level of autonomy and creative freedom that was often denied to women in mainstream Hollywood productions. It was a bold choice, but one that allowed her to take control of her career in a way that was rare for women at the time.